All right, here we are on that location. Um, I'm gonna pop in a, uh, a trench set. This is the way I make my trench sets. Uh, have a little extra eye appeal, and it's good for your red fox and your coyotes. So um, take a look at this. not a bad start. <clears throat> I want the top end of it deeper than back here, okay? I want them to walk right down into it. These sets take a little bit more time and effort, but in the long run, it'll work out for you. <laughs> Sip some of this stuff back about 12 inches. You want this about six, eight inches wide. So what they're gonna do, we'll have this opened up in a little bit for you. I wanna dig out a trap bed in here a little bit. Use the same material that's here. Take my trap, set it. Found in my driving rod. Seems like we got pretty good dirt here. Put my head on. Found it all the way down. Always remember to set your anchor. Just pull it up, give it a tug, you're fine. We'll make this a little bit wider here. Just want it the width of the trap so the trap will bed nice. Set down to my night latch. I want to be about a foot or so um, back from the deepest part. <clears throat> Take the dirt material that you have here, cover your trap. Put this right on the side. You want that on either side. Just rub that a little bit. Expose my pan. I know where my trap is. Come here on the side, a little sifting. Just open this up. Put all this stuff on the sides. Okay, you want it nice and tight. I want to give them a nice entrance here. These sets have a lot of eye appeal. The canines like them. Want some of those dirt clogs. You can actually flare this out a little bit. More or less telling them where you want them. You want them to run right down the middle. 
take my gloves off. I'll actually pop in another small hole here. Elongate it a little bit. <clears throat> Take another little piece of sheep wool. You can pop that down that secondary hole. Gives a little eye appeal. I like using uh, a musk lure at these sets. It's a little different than the same gland lures everybody uses. You need to change it up a little bit. We don't have a lot of competition here, but uh, you know, I like to change things up. Uh, gland lures are used probably 90% of the time on these animals. So give them a little curiosity. I'll take some bait with my fork. good forkful right down there at the base of the trench. Take a little bit of your dirt, throw it right over your bait. Do not worry that these canines can't see it or can't smell it. I assure you they can smell it. First of all, all this debris, put it right on the side. I roll up my kneeling pad, take my trowel, fluff this up a little bit. As you can see, I'm actually telling him where I want him to go. I want him to run right down to the center of the trench. This set has a lot of eye appeal from, you know, 100, 150 yards away. They can see this set. Um, They'll see it, they'll come, they'll smell it, they'll run right down the middle of the set, and when they come here and step on the pan, that's what happens. Try this set, you'll like this one.